The Kiyong U1200N from Ward High Tech is a universal milling machine and Rowan here is going to tell us all about it. So let's talk about the machine as a whole, Rowan. What are you going to put on the bed of this machine? This machine bed will take massive parts. Four meters in X is absolutely huge. Okay, and you've only got one part on here now, but can you put more parts than one on the machine? Yeah, at the I mean, same time? You, you look at the blank here, you've got some fixed string that maybe extends it out a little bit. You could definitely get two of these massive parts on. And I've only ever machined something probably about this size ever. So getting two on one machine is, is mind blowing. Well, here at LBBC Beechwood, they specialize in the larger parts, don't they? So this is what they, they go to, but they're also looking for having a fourth axis table, aren't they, on this machine? Why would they consider that? Well, this being a universal milling machine, the, ta the, the spindle can tilt in two axes, it's a three plus two uh, machine. So with the current setup, you can probably access three sides on uh, uh, around your part. With a rotor table, you can then access all the sides around the part. So actually, this goes from being what is already a hugely versatile machine to be able to, be able to then probably machine any kind of part you want to put on it. Now you've been speaking to the operator who absolutely loves this machine. So what's he been saying? Because I know he's already told me something straight away. Is the fact that there's another door on the other side of the machine. So why would he need that? Exactly. Well, with this kind of traveling column style uh, style machine, you might not be able to see where you're machining because the spindle might be back here, the part might come up to here. You've got no idea what's happening on behind uh, behind that part. So you can actually open the door over there, swing it, through. swing the control straight through there, and you've got a completely different angle to see the part at. So that's absolutely necessary when you've got massive parts on this machine. I guess bed. it's going to give them confidence as well as an operator that they can see exactly what they're machining from every angle. What else did you say that you liked about this? Well, actually, so this machine has got through tool coolant, but it's also got through tool air, air blast which is really important when you're machining um, steel parts like this. You don't want to necessarily put coolant on the, through, the, through the cut because you're, de you're going to get some kind of thermal cracking maybe sometimes in the index, in the index ball insert. So instead, with air blast, you heat up the material, you get this nice straw-colored chip, and you see that's actually because the material's been heated up and it's actually easier to cut. So you actually might get a better cut if you're just using air blast. And obviously, when you're using air blast, you also don't get any issues with coolant being left on your machine bed, you have to wipe it all down. So it's actually, it's a really good little feature. For such a size of the machine as well, it's quite open, isn't it? Yeah, you would obviously maybe be worried that swarf and chips and coolant are gonna fly out of the top of the machine, but actually, we've been told there's not really much of an issue with that. I mean, on the sides, you've got these, these, um, these rubber wrap things that will probably stop the chips getting out of the sides. So in terms of washing down the machine, it's not gonna be as easy as maybe a tiny little robot drill, but still, there's not much of a problem there. No, and also just to explain, the augers, the swarf augers go down and then the swarf to fall away, there's a swarf in on the back right hand side of the machine as well. I'm pretty sure they can tailor it to how you wish though. And what I think is quite important about this machine as well is the hide and hide control. Okay. Now because you've got the, the 3 plus 2 axis spindle, you need a nice easy control interface to be able to then index the spindle in those two different axes. And with other controls it might be a little bit more complicated and a bit, a bit more involved. But with hide and hide you've got a standard tilt plane uh, can cycle so you can just go tell it I want 30 degrees in the B axis and 15 degrees in the C axis. You can just do that in one command on the hide and hide. So how, what's this done for the business in essence really? Because this is a business that predominantly uses manual machines. So why is it they're, they're so happy with their CNC well, here? This is their first machine tool. Well, aside from their manual kind of lathes and mills, this is the first CNC machine tool, which is for them a massive step up in probably in accuracy and repeatability, probably in quality as well as a result of the end, the quality of the end part they can rely on because the CNC control obviously will repeat to I guess, quite a high standard. And of course, with machines like this from Ward High Tech, they have fantastic finance deals. So you can buy the machine, have it sitting on your shop floor, and you don't pay anything for six months. So that means the machine's working for you, making money before you even spend a penny. Exactly.